A Little Spot of Sadness by Diane Alber. Hi, I'm a peaceful spot, and this blue spot is a sadness spot. What is a sadness spot? It looks like it needs a hug. A sadness spot can show up when someone is feeling upset, disappointed, or if they have experienced loss. Sadness is one of the many emotions we can experience every day. Other emotions are anxiety and anger too. We all have these emotions inside of us, but we feel the best when we're able to calm them down into a peaceful spot. You will see both small and large spots of sadness. Having your sadness spot around is okay, but when it stays too long or becomes too big, it doesn't make you feel very good. That's why I'm here to show you how to recognize when someone's sadness spot shows up and how to help them find a peaceful spot. I'll also show you how to manage your own sadness spot too. A sadness spot is unique because it's one of the few emotions that other people can help you with. That's why I want to show you how to spot it. Crying is one of the ways a sadness spot releases energy, which can help you feel better. It can also show you when a person is feeling down, so you can go help them find their peaceful spot. It's also important to know that a sadness spot may be there if someone is not crying. You can look at their body language, too. If you see someone frowning or moping, their sadness spot is definitely nearby. This person could use a friend. Loneliness can cause your sadness spot to get bigger, too. If you see someone who could use a friend, ask them if they are okay and be there to listen. If you have experienced what they're going through, let them know they're not alone and you are there for them. You are calming their sadness spot with empathy. Sometimes you might see a sadness spot show up when someone misses a loved one who is far away. Having a friend to have fun with can really help. You are calming their sadness spot with friendship. You might also see a sadness spot appear when someone has lost a pet, friend, or family member. Being there to give them a hug and talk about the happy times they shared with that person or pet can help them feel the love that will always be in their heart. You are calming their sadness spot with love. A sadness spot can be a little sneaky, like when it shows up before you decide how to react to the problem. Sometimes it takes the help of others to see it's only a tiny problem that can be easily fixed. You are calming their sadness spot with teamwork. It can be common to see an anxiety spot with a sadness spot. When a new kid arrives to class, they may be worried and sad at the same time. You can help them feel more welcome by saying hello and introducing them to your friends. You are calming their sadness spot with compassion. There are ways to calm your own sadness spot too. Some days you just feel sad and you really aren't sure why. When you feel like being alone or no one is there to comfort you, music, drawing, and writing can help relax your mind. You are calming your sadness spot with creativity. If your sadness spot won't go away, I have a trick you can try. Look at your hand. Now imagine one blue spot and one green spot on your palm, just like this. Repeat after me. Circle the spots in the middle of your palm. Count the swirls down to calm. Around and around and around once more. One, then two, then three, then four. Each time you trace around the spots, take a deep breath to calm your thoughts. I'm so glad to see that you have learned how to calm down sadness spots. Always remember our little trick. Circle the spots in the middle of your palm, count the swirls down to calm, around and around and around twice more, one, then two, then three, then four. Each time you trace around the spots, take a deep breath to calm your thoughts.